Hello and welcome to my portal, the first slice developer commentary. Yes, last time I did a I did a game, but this time, but this time is going to be all the same chambers, just with the added developer commentary. I am definitely going to shut up whilst whilst that happens. Server C one cheats changed to one. I don't know what they mean by that. Commentary mode less. Access to information nodes containing audio commentary spoken by members of the Valve team. To start or stop a commentary node, aim your crosshairs at any balloon. While playing the game in commentary mode, you'll be invulnerable to damage and achievements will not be awarded. Invulnerable. Well, how great is that? They are good like that. Well, it's time to Welcome start. To game name here. Hopefully you've already had a chance to enjoy the offbeat perspective and the game mechanic of Portal. To listen to a commentary node, put your crosshair over the floating commentary symbol What's a and press your use key. To stop a commentary node, put your crosshair over the rotating node and press the use key again. Some commentary nodes may take control of the game in order to show something to yeah. you. In these cases, simply press your use key again to stop the commentary. Please let me know what you think after you've had a chance to play as we think we are just at the beginning of taking advantage of this type of gameplay. I can be reached at gayben at valvesoftware.com. Thanks, and have fun. Alright, we're back again, and I know exactly how to do things. Portal Radio, 85.2 feet FM, yeah, everybody how to say yeah, yeah. Alright, here's the first commentary note, let's see it. It's absolutely critical that players quickly wrap their heads around what a portal is. We noticed early playtesters grasp the concept much more quickly when they caught a glimpse of themselves through a portal. So we deliberately positioned this first portal to ensure that players will invariably see themselves. One of the things we learned from our Bacular Drop, our student project that became Portal, was that players often thought portals took them into other spaces, or even other dimensions. To help fight that notion, we start players in a visually unique room with memorable objects, so that when they walk through a portal for the first time, they have a clear point of reference which communicates the idea that they're still in the same basic... For instance, the radio, which is playing an instrumental version of Still Alive, helps as well by providing some... I'll leave that radio there. Actually, I'll take it with me. How do I hold things? Am I just... It's just right in front of my face. It's just floating right in front of my face. How weird is that? I'm gonna try and get it. You have to be really up close to it, I guess. Wait, did I miss something? We put the player character in an orange jumpsuit to reinforce the fact that she's a test subject. Visually, the warmer colors helped her pop out against the colder tones of her environment. Some playtesters were wondering why she could fall so far without getting hurt the way she would have if she were in Half-Life 2. In response, we added a mechanized heel spring to her lower legs. Afterwards, there was no longer any question about why she could survive such long falls. These frosted glass observation rooms make the player feel as if they're being watched at all times while keeping the identity of these watchers a mystery. Let the us. rooms serve it's a practical us. purpose as well, since we often use them as convenient and logical light spaces for the test chambers. Jimmy? Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the Portal exit. is effectively the an extended player training exercise. We spend a huge portion of the game introducing a series of gameplay no! tools, then layering those tools into increasingly no! difficult puzzles. This layering starts here, where we train the button and box mechanic, before introducing the more complicated concept of portals. I will never be able to hear that same music again. We wanted players to feel safe while standing in a portal, so we never kill them or destroy objects within a portal that's closing. Instead, we either push or teleport objects out of a portal as it closes. No! Come on! Unfair! Perfect. 
will quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. We very deliberately introduce and train each gameplay concept in Portal, so that once players reach this spot, we're confident that they know what a portal is and roughly how it works. Yes. Early versions of the game let players stumble through the beginning, without always understanding what was going on, which really compromised teaching. Oh god, the uh, teaching new concepts. The puzzle you just finished was designed so that stumbling around will virtually always... I'm so sorry, blame it on me. You didn't manage to complete reading that, sorry. In early versions of this map, playtesters would charge down the stairs without noticing what was creating the portals. We introduced a mandatory pause in the action what we call a gate, to help ensure that players stop and notice the portal gun making the blue portal. A particle effect and a loud noise help draw their attention. Look at it. This is going to stick up again at work. Here we go! Whoa, where'd you go? I want to come with, with you. you. God, have I been missing commentary Please notes? Proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. This room was designed to make players understand that entrance and exit portals aren't tied to the color of the portal. <gasps> Playtesters often assume that orange portals were exit only, so we created this puzzle to force players to enter an orange portal. Okay, got it. Nope, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. When rendering the player's view through a portal, we must render a separate image using a virtual oh, yeah. camera which looks out of the opposite portal. To obtain a correct image and Ooh, efficient yeah. rendering performance, we render only oh, what is visible video. to the limited field of view of the opposite portal and exclude objects which lie between the virtual camera and the plane of the opposite portal. Am I ready yet? Oh yeah, I must have done. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. I like doing it. <gasps> I'm going to take this with me, I think. Alright, just a random. I'll just pick this up. Well done. Remember, the aperture's. I let it fizzle and The combination of portal destroying fields, which we call fizzlers, and okay. the elevators serve a dual purpose. They provide a clearly identifiable endpoint for each test chamber while also addressing the more practical problem of how to keep players from portaling across level loads. We eventually integrated the fizzlers into several of our puzzle designs. Eins. You forgot the Eins. Stupid game. I'm gonna shower myself in liquid portal. Portal liquid. Portal liquid available now. Welcome to test chamber four. For training purposes, there's generally just one correct solution to these early puzzles. The original version of this room didn't have the glass barrier. Playtesters would often stand on the button to open the door and then shoot a blue portal through the opening, bypassing the box entirely. Since this puzzle was meant to illustrate the relationship between boxes and buttons, that solution, while clever, was a failure. So we added the glass barrier to prevent it. Later in the oh, game, yeah. however, 
the puzzles become more open-ended. Integrating portals with Source Engine's physics system was a complex process that required several iterations to achieve the right balance of performance and correctness. Oh, good. Because portals can be placed virtually anywhere in the game's environment, the physics system had to be modified to allow dynamic changes to its representation of colliding geometry, such as the walls and floor around this box, and any objects which may lie on the opposite side of the portal. Initial implementations of this dynamic collision sense. generation system could take up to oh, one half of one second, or 500 milliseconds, to compute the correct collision. This may not sound like a long time in everyday life, but this pause during the portal creation was quite noticeable in the context of a game. Ultimately, we designed a system that oh, creates terrible. temporary hybrid physics environments in bubbles around the portals, using less accurate collision than that produced by Source's standard collision generation, but was accurate enough in practice and reduced the time to create dynamic collision representation from 500 milliseconds to just 10 Oops. milliseconds, which is an imperceptible pause during portal creation. Goodbye. I'll never grab you again. Raining hot liquid. Here we go again. Five and nineteen. A box may fall on your head if you're not very careful. Early versions of Portal featured more detailed, cluttered environments. Much like Half-Life 2, you realize that unnecessary objects scattered all over the place distracted players to the point where it actually interfered with the portal training process. So we simplified the art style to favor clean, focused test chambers. The modular approach we settled on makes it look plausible that the chambers can reform dynamically on these pistons. Oh god. Yeah! Oh my god! Get it! Wouldn't it be easier if I just did this? Oh! Almost! As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright no! Oh no! As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. That's my phone. Look, won't you magically disappear? Takes away all, all of its energy. Well, I have to advance on to the next test chain because you want me to. After all, it is developer, it is developer commentary you're looking for, and that's what you get. This is why you clicked it because it said developer commentary right in the name. Here we go again. Portal device is loaded, and uh, this one again. Well, safety is one of many energies. Unbelievable. Blimey. If you if you want if you want to if you want to hear the full version of that, watch the watch the trial version without any developed commentary. You'll see it somewhere. To make puzzles deeper than just teleporting to the exit, we had to include surfaces that won't hold a portal, which are formally introduced here. We experimented with several surface designs before we settled on this one, whose visual noise and reflectivity make it easy to identify at a distance. Rain and bottle liquid. I love to shower in it. God, I would love one of these things to become real one day. I'd like for this to be real one day. That's why I'm making a. Devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Bubble forward. Now wasn't I going to do something? Originally, these scaffolds ran on electrified tracks, but crafty playtesters would hop along the rails to the exit, bypassing the puzzle entirely. 
We tried to solve this by killing players as soon as they touched the rails. That solution ended up being too much of an overcorrection, as even skilled playtesters were getting frustrated by these one-hit kills in the more complex puzzles later in the game. Making the scaffolds run along immaterial beams of light solved both problems. Anyway, before GLaDOS... Please note that we have added ah! points for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor <gasps> will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing report. Followed Good graphics though, isn't it? Good luck. Anyway, look, okay, 8 of 19. A cube may go right at you. A pellet, um, a pellet will go in here. You may drown. And you may not touch the sprinkler on your way out. Thank you. All right, now, um, okay, so they, so they don't make, they don't make portal guns. Well, they don't make, they don't make real portal guns, I should say. And, and they do make replicas, but only five thousand of them are sold worldwide. They're probably sold out, and col and collectors are trying to sell it off for more money. Which is why I'll make my own DIY prop because they're. Done half the the double the price. The collector's edition, the second hand ones, are double the price. They haven't been opened, but they are double the price for some reason. And I just like the original ones by Valve, but no, they are all sold out, never to be seen again. They could have made they could have at least made five thousand and one for me. Oh, well, you can't have everything. Even though layering player training was a design goal from the start, we still ended up introducing some concepts too quickly. For instance, this used to be the first energy ball redirection puzzle. Playtesting revealed that this puzzle introduced too many new concepts at once, which ended up frustrating a lot of playtesters. In response, we inserted two test chambers before this one to make the energy ball redirection training more gradual. Yes! Here we go. We previously talked about how we handle static portal collision, but collision with moving objects on the other side of a portal is a completely different and equally hard problem. Walking onto this scaffold was a very iffy proposition for the first few months of development. We solved the problem of colliding with these dynamic objects by cloning the objects from one portal to the other and strictly controlling what objects are allowed to collide with each other and how they're allowed to collide. The enrichment center regrets to inform you that like this I said in the last episode, not when you think. No attempt to solve it. Now. Because our test chamber environments were simplified for training purposes, we created visual hotspots within the rooms to guide players' attention. The design is essentially a balance between round objects and sharp objects. The sharp objects representing background elements and the round objects such as doors and movable props comprising our points of visual interest. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. For the first few months of development, we rendered the views through portals to two off-screen textures. This approach was easy to implement and was compatible with a wide range of graphics hardware. Yeah! Unfortunately, this method was incompatible with anti-aliasing and consumed a large amount of video memory in order to handle recursive views through several portals. Aww. Because of these disadvantages, we switched to a system which renders portal views recursively into the frame buffer with the aid of the stencil buffer to isolate pixels corresponding to a given portal. What? This is a more effective scheme because it is compatible with anti-aliasing and does not consume any additional video memory for off-screen texture. Now, I wish I knew what he said, but I'm not really that much of a nerd. I understood part of what he said. I wasn't really getting it too much. Basically... Basically, something to do with portals, it making the portals appear, consume too much video memory. Don't go asking me what he said. I don't really have much of an idea of what he said. Hello again. To reiterate, previously <laughs> impossible. This test uses momentum, I bet, is what she said. Alright, over there we have what the requirements for this are. 
So you go out through a portal and then you shoot back. Portal momentum ended up being the hardest concept to convey. For this series of puzzles, which went through more design iterations than virtually any other part of the game, we introduced the idea of redirecting your momentum using portals slowly, step by step. Uh -huh. We even have the AI voice pretty Lados. explicitly explain the elements of the puzzle, something we avoided throughout most of the rest of the game. Using gravity to fall into one portal so that you come rocketing out the other portal, a skill we call flinging, was another difficult concept to train. We designed a specific visual cue, a pushed out concrete block with checkerboard tile above a pit, to indicate to players that it's time to use the fling maneuver. Repeated several times, this cue helps players associate pushed out concrete slabs with flinging, in much the same way that players learn to associate cubes with buttons. The, well, not the last developer commentary, this is the last of the series. Originally, these exit portal surfaces were static geometry in the final position, but playtesters stubbornly refused to look up to find them. This is another example of the classic game design problem of coaxing players to look up. By putting the portals on moving pistons, we were able to start them in a position that players were more likely to see. Oh, God, what have I? Oh, let me start that again because I missed. I missed again. Oh, how many times is it going to take me before I? Oh, God. Blame me for wasting your time with this. We oh. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. She rushes with that thing. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing goes out. Whoa! Oh. Was, um, well, I'm afraid to say it, that's the end of the developer country. Ah, oh, if I press W quickly, I could have I could have gone to that. Well, thank you for watching the developer commentary. Um, if you want to watch, if you want to watch Portal of the First Slice with the new with 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 no commentary but my own, that'll be coming up soon. Thank you, thank you for thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye. From the before when I was talking about scary garbage standing around being useless. That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it'd say a random prediction. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now.